Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jody Kilbasa, and I am the director of the Virginia Film Festival, which is presented by the University of Virginia, and I also serve as vice provost for the arts at UVA as well. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the 26th annual Virginia Film Festival and our press announcements, so thank all of you for being here as well. And um, first of all, I'd like to start out by recognizing uh, festival programmer Wesley Harris, whose stamp is all over this program as well. It's been a pleasure to work with you on it. Uh, we're really excited to share this program with you today. Uh, I would like to start off by announcing that uh, this year's uh, official opening night film is Alexander Payne's very latest film, Nebraska, which stars Bruce Stern, who won the Palm de uh, did not win the Palm de excuse me, won Best Actor at the Cannes Film Festival, and also Will Forte, who debuts in his first real dramatic role here in this film. And we're very thrilled to announce that we will be joined uh, at the opening night film by Will Forte, who will be in along with the producer, Ron Yerkstead, who is on the Virginia Film Festival Advisory Board uh, for that screening. Uh, he will also be at the opening night gala afterwards as well. And this is a particularly touching film. It's a very poignant film about the uh, relationship between a young man and his aged father um, and a road trip, a special road trip that they take together. So we hope that you'll enjoy this film and look forward to it as much as we have uh, in preparing it for you. Uh, the opening night gala will take place later that evening at the Jefferson. It's going to be an incredible evening. Uh, we have an example of last year, and uh, we look forward to welcoming Will and Ron in a celebration of the festival and our opening night film. The very next evening, uh, we are pleased to uh, announce that we will be celebrating the 50th anniversary screening of The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock, uh, one of the greatest classic horror films of all time. And we're bringing in special guest, Tippi Hedren. Um, this should be a really exciting evening, an opportunity for Tippi to not only talk about uh, the birds, uh, but also her unique relationship with Alfred Hitchcock. Of course, last year was all the news with the screening of Hitchcock. And um, uh, we look forward to having her as our special guest. Uh, in conjunction with that, we have a special partnership with the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, uh, where we will be focusing on their new exhibit, which launches the very opening of the film festival the same day, November 7th, and will be an exhibit uh, through February there. Uh, an incredible array of Hollywood costumes through the years, and we are staging a special uh, Hollywood costume series focusing on films during the Virginia Film Festival. Of course, the birds will be featured in that iconic suit will be at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. In addition, we'll be screening all that heaven allows with Jane Wyman and Rock Hudson during the festival, and a moderated conversation by UVA drama professor Gwyneth West about the importance of costuming in film. Moving on, I'd like to announce that our centerpiece film this year will be the documentary Claw, uh, which is directed by Brian Weimer and Billy Hunt both regional filmmakers known to Charlottesville audiences. Um, we're particularly pleased about this because we screened the short version of this film three years ago, and it's now really evolved into a feature-length documentary. Uh, probably all of you are familiar with the coalition, or I should say the collective of ladies in arm wrestling here, who have grown here locally and moved on to become uh, uh, a charitable organization throughout the country. Uh, in Brooklyn and New Orleans and even in Brazil as well. Claw features an outsized cast of characters ranging from pregnant brides to virgin Madonnas and the occasional giant banana, all arm wrestling in the name of charity. It's a piece of modern vaudeville that skirts the edges of entertainment, delving a social critique of contemporary women's empowerment. And we're really pleased to feature this as our centerpiece film. Later on, that same evening, is our late night rap party, where we expect that a lot of people from Claw will be joining uh, other filmmakers to celebrate the festival as well. <laughs> and I'd like to announce that this year's closing night film is Blue Ruin. It's a taut psychological thriller directed by Virginia native Jeremy Salmier. 
Now, it's become a festival tradition over the last several years that we feature some of the most talked about and highly anticipated films from the 2013 festival circuit under our spotlight screening section. This year, we're going to feature a single shot with director David Rosenthal and local um, novelist and screenwriter Matt Jones, who wrote the screenplay for this. It, um, it tells the tale of a tragic hunting accident that turns into a cat and mouse life and death thriller in this film that stars Sam Rockwell. We're also proud to announce 2008 Tony Award winning Pulitzer Prize winning play, now adapted for the screen August Osage County, starring Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts. Blue is the warmest color, the winner of the coveted Palme d'Or at this year's Cannes Film Festival, which chronicles the story of two women in a tumultuous love affair. Charlie Countryman, director Frederick Bond, will join us for this gorgeously shot, thrilling story of high stakes international romance and adventure. Child of God, James Franco directs this adaptation of Cormac McCarthy's novel. And we will be joined by special guest actor and director Scott Hayes, named one of Variety's 10 actors to watch for in 2013, also a graduate of the Miller School here in Albemarle County. He'll be joining us for a QA and a immediately following. The Face of Love, Virginia Film Festival Advisory Board member Sir Julie Lynn, a festival favorite, returns to the festival this year with A Face of Love, starring Annette Benning, Ed Harris, Robin Williams, and Jess Wexler. We'll be joined by Julie, the director, Harry Posen, and Jess Wexler. Uh, we'll be on hand for a QA and a immediately following the screen. A special screening of First Cousin Once Removed, director Alan Berliner will join us. His documentary about his cousin, renowned poet Edwin Honig, and his struggle with Alzheimer's disease. The highly praised and on the best foreign shortlist for this year's Academy Award Gloria for Best Foreign Film. I Used to Be Darker, a powerful new drama by Matt Porterfield, starring noted Charlottesville musician Ned Olin, will be on hand to discuss the film. The Invisible Woman, Ray Fine stars and directs this drama about uh, Charles Dickens and the other woman in his life. Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, <coughs> follows the journey of Nelson Mandela from his humble beginnings through his 27 years of imprisonment and his inspirational uh, rise to power in South Africa. Stephen Frears directs Philomena, starring Dame Judi Dench in a role that's already generating Oscar buzz. Um, she plays an Irish woman on a quest to connect with her son, born out of wedlock de decades earlier. And just for fun, because we have Will Forte, we're going to be screening with Ruber, and we will be joined with special guest writer and director Yorma Tacone, known for his work on Saturday Night Live, and Lonely Island, and for HBO's Girls. And of course, Norma directed um, MacGruber. We're continuing our presidency in film series in association with the Miller Center, the screening of Our Next Nixon, that um, um, has incredible eight millimeter footage that was taken by Haldeman, Ehrlichman, and Ziegler. Go figure, they take themselves. <laughs> We continue the Library of Congress series this year with a seventh voyage of Sinbad, celebrating the work of legendary special effects artists that we lost this year, Ray Harryhausen, and also the court jester, marking the 100th anniversary of Danny Kaye's birth. And we continue our ongoing partnership with the Center for Politics uh, with a, a documentary produced by the Center for Politics, The Kennedy Half Century, with a panelist uh, converse, with a panel conversation moderated by UVA's Larry Saturday. Now each year we've had a very strong slate of documentary films and we're going to continue this with the Armstrong Live. What began as a commissioned work by award-winning documentarian Alex Gibney to follow Lance Armstrong during his 2009 Tour de France comeback 
took a major turn when doping accusations multiplied and Armstrong's public admissions helped complete a spectacular fall from grace. Bible quiz. A look at a young woman's quest to win not only the National Bible Quiz Championship, but the elusive heart of her team's captain. A.J. Schnock's look at the Republican 2012 candidates leading up to the Iowa caucuses, focusing on Michelle Bachman and Rick Santorum in caucus. And The Project, a documentary about anti-piracy force in Somalia. Remote Area Medical, chronicling three days in April 2012 when leaders in no-cost healthcare clinics treated more than 2,000 patients on the infield of Bristol, Tennessee's massive NASCAR speedway. Running from Crazy by Barbara Koppel, Koppel a documentary about Mariela Hemingway and the Hemingway family's struggle with mental illness. Van, a fun look at the unique subculture of vans that hit a highlight during the 70s. Amongst our foreign films this year, we'll be screening a powerful new film from China, nominated for the Palm Beale Red Pan as well, A Touch of Sin. Bicycling with Moliere, a wonderful French comedy with acting, love, sex, Moliere, and the French countryside in a competitive uh, 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 time between two actors. The Missing Picture from Cambodia, Director Rithi Pan uses clay figures, archival footage, and his narration to recreate the atrocities Cambodia's Khmer Rouge committed between 1975 and 1979. Museum Hours, a carefully observed look at a relationship sparked by a chance meeting in a museum. Satellite Boy from Australia will be joined by Director Cashierone and McKenzie in a partnership with the Kluge Room Museum. When the old abandoned outdoor cinema uh, boy and his grandfather call home is threatened with demolition, a 10-year-old travels to the city to try and save it. And the zigzag kid, part of our Jewish-Israeli voice of sidecar, uh, chronicling the adventures of a spirited 13-year-old. <coughs> part of our spotlight in Virginia films includes Seasons with Brian and Julia, an intimate look at the lives of a rural Virginia farming family that focuses on what goes into responsible and sustainable subsistence farming. And Faux Paws, a gay werewolf road movie from Doug Berry and Brian Weimer, featuring the memorable tagline, Werewolf that ain't what it used to be. This year, we continue our commitment to outreach and education by reaching over 677 elementary school and middle school students, screening their 90-second short films as part of Family Day, which has now moved to the Betsy and John Castine Arts Grounds at the University of Virginia. It will be a day-long celebration of film, focusing on free arts workshops for students. We'll have an instrument petting zoo from the Charlottesville University Symphony Orchestra, an animation workshop. We will also have a stage combat workshop for kids, all free for the families. And we will have the 60th anniversary screening of Disney's classic film, Peter Pan. Our high school and middle school screening will be William in the Windmill, which is a beautiful and inspirational story of a young Malawi boy, now a young man, who built a windmill to generate power, electricity, and water to his small village during a famine in Malawi. Um, he was invited to the TED conference uh, in Africa. It basically was the rock star of that TED conference, went on to write a book, William in the Windmill, and uh, now a documentary as well. Uh, we'll be joined by the filmmaker Ben May Fabers, who will be coming in for that high school screening, and it is already completely full. Over a thousand kids will be screening that at the Albemarle High School, uh, Martin Luther King. Oh, sorry. Charlottesville. Charlottesville, thank you. Charlottesville High School, Martin Luther King Performing Arts Center on Friday morning. Um, the Adrenaline Project returns for its 10th anniversary with the founder, Jeff Wadlow, who recently directed Kick Ass 2. Um, uh, local and regional filmmaker Derek Seed and Lee Kilton Smith will all be back to serve as mentors. 72 hours of filmmakers who write, produce, act, edit, direct, and we screen these films on Saturday evening. And again, it's the 10th anniversary of the Adrenaline Film Project. Um, 
The Digital Media Gallery returns this year for a month as part of the 40th anniversary of the Second Street Gallery. Um, we will be screening films uh, from uh, Kevin Everson's class at UVA and other community films as well um, for an entire month at the Second Street Gallery. And that is a wrap for our film program right now. That's only approximately 38 of the over 100 films will be screened during the festival. Most of the rest are outlined in the press release that you should have by now. But I'm happy to take any questions you might have about this year's program. Thank you.